एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम part 1 we discuss about basics of electrical circuits which include r l c then we discuss about resistance in series and parallel in terms of uh, ohms as well as conductances also discussed about uh, various sources like voltage source current source we discuss about elements r l c the voltage current across these elements and the energy stored in part 2 we'll discuss about voltage division current division open circuit short circuit and the practice question based on these concepts Hi I am Professor Anjali Garg your course instructor welcome to S Chand Academy to know more about this topic you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing the link to which is given in the description box below so let me start with voltage division rule as discussed earlier that voltage remains same in parallel and it divides in series so this rule is applicable for series circuit let me take an example suppose i have three resistances in series and the voltage applied to the series combination is v like this is equal to r1 r2 and r3 so what is the current in the circuit that is very simple because all three resistance in series so my total resistance now will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 right so my my current will be total voltage by total resistance based on ohms law so that will be equal to v divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 that is the current in the circuit and what will be v1 that is a voltage across that is the voltage across my resistance r1 so that v1 will be i into r1 so i have the value of i i have the value of r1 so i can simply write v r1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus so the voltage across any resistance like r1 v1 is equal to total input voltage v that is this value into resistance of the branch across which we are finding out voltage that is r1 divided by sum of resistance in series that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 so now if i want to find out v2 that is voltage across r2 so i can directly write v2 is equal to i r2 or i can say this is v total input voltage resistance of the branch across which i am finding out voltage that is v2 divided by sum of resistance in series that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 and so on so i can find out voltage across any of the branch which is in series across the input supply v this is voltage division rule then next is current division rule now we as we discuss in part 1 current remain same in series and current divide in parallel so this current division rule is applicable for parallel circuit because for series circuit current remains same so let me take an example and then we'll discuss how this current uh, division rule is applicable so let me take these are two resistances r1 and r2 and this is applied across my input voltage v let my current from the source is i now these two are uh, branches in parallel and the current will divide in these two resistance based on the value of resistance now what will be the current in each branch we find out using current division rule so what is the total resistance as discussed in part 1 because both the resistances are in parallel so my total resistance will be r1 into r2 divide by r1 
plus R2. So what will be my current now? That current will be total voltage by total resistance. That is the current. So I have to divide this current I into these two branches. Now this current based on Ohm's law, this current I1 will be V by R. V is equal to I R Ohm's law. So I is equal to V by R. So I put the value of V, I put the value of R for this particular current. So this resistance will be R1. So what will be the value of V? This V I can get from this relation which gives me V is equal to I into RT. I, what is RT? R1, R2, R1 plus R2. So I put now this value of V in this relation. So I will get I, so this I1 that is the current in R1 is equal to V divided by R1 as per Ohm's law. So I put the value of this V in this relation, I will get now I R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into 1 by R1. So you can see that this R1 cancel with each other and now I will get I R2 R1 plus R2. This is the current in, so this is the current in R1 resistance. So I now I have obtained I1 that is current in R1. So what is, how to remember this current, how can I directly use this current division rule? So current in any branch is total current come into this node where it divides. Total current into resistance of another branch that is R2, that is R2. So total input current into R2 divided by sum of resistance, sum of resistance in parallel. So current in any branch is total input current into resistance of another branch divided by sum of resistance in parallel. Now suppose I need to directly find out I2. So as per the rule discussed, I2 is total input current into resistance of another branch that is R1 divide by sum of resistance in parallel that is R1 plus R2 and we can cross check because my voltage will remain same. So my I2 will be V by R2. So if I put the same V relation in this, I will definitely get this which is current in R2. So this is current division rule where current divides in parallel and current remains same in series. Now next is open circuit. Now this open circuit is basically if I have a wire and if I open it, I cut the wire in between and there are two open terminals, I call it as open circuit. So that open circuit is between that two terminals. It is nowhere connected to any of the circuit part. There has, there can be the effect of this open circuit at any part of the circuit. But as of now, my open circuit is when I disconnect the two ends and I open that wire by cutting it from any point that become open circuit. For example, I have a circuit like this. I have the circuit like this. Now I, I disconnect. So this is my one point and this is my another point. This is my open circuit. Suppose I have a switch like this. This is my switch. I open it. So now my terminal, open terminal will be A and B. So my open circuit will be like this. This is my open circuit. Now what is this effect of this open circuit on rest of the circuit? I have opened the switch. This is switch. This is a switch. I have opened the switch. Now if I open circuit this switch, there will not be any current in the open circuit. There will not be any current in the open circuit. There can be voltage between A and B. I am just talking about A and B. I am just talking about the terminals which are open circuited. So there will not be any current in this open circuit, but there can be voltage. We will cross check whether there will be voltage or not. 
but for sure current will not be there in open circuit. So what is the effect of this open circuit on rest of the circuit? Let this is suppose 1, this is suppose 1, I place a battery, suppose 10 volt as a supply, let this is suppose, uh, again this is 1, let this is 1, all are 1. Now if I open circuit, there will not be any current in this path. So there will not be any current in this part, there will not be any current in this part because of open circuit. So this is the effect of open circuit on rest of the circuit. So what is the effective resistance now? Only this portion will be my effective circuit due to which the current flows in the circuit. There will not be any current in this part. So what will be current now? That current will be total voltage by total resistance which is in series. So now my only effective circuit will be this one. So the one and one series I am getting two voltage 10 volt. So my current will be 5 ampere and it will be flowing in this circuit only. There will not be any current in this portion because of this open circuit. And what about voltage between these two terminal? Because the current is 5 ampere, this is plus this is minus because the potential of this point is higher as compared to this. So I am getting let this is equal to because this is A, there is no drop. So this will become A and this will become B. So voltage between A and B will be Ohm's law that is 1 ohm resistance and 5 ampere current is 5 volt. So I am getting voltage about the open terminal. So my statement that voltage can be there is correct. Now, if someone asked me what is the effect of this open circuit if the, the switch is closed, that means my initial circuit. So if my switch is closed, that means my original circuit like this. So there will be effect of, there will be effect of this 1 and 1 ohm initially. So originally my current has to be 1 and 1 in series. I will redraw to for better, better understanding. So I, I am originally having this circuit like this. So 1, 1, 1 and 1. So question is what is current I now? For due to, due to open circuit my current is 5 ampere. Originally it was 1 and 1 in series. So I am getting 2. So then this 2 and 1 is in parallel. So 2 into 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So this will be 2 by 3 ohms and then this 1 in series. So 2 by 3 plus 1. So I am getting 5 by 3 ohm is my total resistance. So what will be total current I? 10 divided by 5 by 3. So I am getting 30 by 5 or 6 amperes. So you can see that it was originally 6 amperes. Because of open circuit, the current drawn from the supply reduces. So that is the effect of open circuit and if I compare with the original circuit, my current drawn is less because my resistance changes, my overall resistance of the circuit changes. It is 2 ohm because of open circuit but actually it was 5 by 3. So my resi resistance reduces and that's why my current also changes. So this is open circuit and open circuit, finally I can summarize that in open circuit there will not be any current but there can be voltage. Now let me discuss about short circuit. I will take the same circuit with same value so that I can actually tell you what is the effect of open circuit and short circuit. With same circuit let my switches let, let I, I take the same circuit 10 volt 1 1 1 1. If I go back to my previous slide, we can see that this original circuit, my current is 6 amperes. Now what will be uh, for this circuit, my I current is 6 amperes. Suppose there is a switch again, sorry, there is a switch. I now, this is open switch, normal circuit. Now I close this switch. That means 
terminal A and B, I short circuit. Short circuit means I take a wire and connect it. So I place a short circuit, I connect these two open terminal or using a switch or a wire. So my A and B is short. So what will be the potential at A? Let this is X. What will be the potential at B? This will also be X. Why? Because there is no resistance. I assume my idle, uh, idle uh, wire do not have any drop. So the potential at A and B will be same. So what is the potential difference? Potential difference will be 0. So for short circuit, my voltage between A and B. So voltage between A and B will be 0. So if I place a short circuit between A and B, for sure my voltage between A and B will be 0 because there is no draw between A and B. Now what about current? Current will be there because there is a closed path and for the closed path current will flow. Now I will see what will be the effect of this short circuit on rest of the circuit. That was my original current. Let me see what is the effect of this short circuit on rest of the circuit. So let me start with what is the total resistance. So let me redraw for better clarity. Now I have a short circuit. I have resistance, then this resistance and my vo voltage is, input voltage is 10 volt. Now you can see that there is a short circuit. And as per uh, resistance in parallel, if the current is coming from like this at I, there are two paths. One is of resistance and another is of this whole path. One and one series, I am getting two. Two in parallel with zero resistance. So two in parallel with zero resistance. Two into zero and two plus zero, I am getting effective value zero. So effective value zero means there is no effect of one and one because there is a short in parallel. So again I will show you the basic circuit. See there is a parallel, these two branches are parallel, one is short another is resistance that means there will not be any effect of these two and this whole current will only flow in this. So there will be I, there will not be any current in one. So what is my effective resistance left is only this. So what is total resistance now is 1 ohm. So what is total current? 10 by 1 is 10 ampere. So my current changes from 6 to 10 because of this short circuit. So this is the effect of short circuit. But question is will there be any current? Yes, the current is 10 ampere. So within that short there will not be any voltage but there will be current and this short will have effect on rest of the circuit based on the location of this short circuit and whether the, there is any parallel resistance or not. So the, the summary is open circuit no current there will be voltage short circuit there will not be any voltage and there will be current. So we summarized uh, this lecture part 2 as uh, voltage division rule where this rule is applicable for series circuit, current division rule where this is applicable for parallel circuit, open circuit where there will not be uh, any current but there will be voltage and uh, short circuit where there will not be any voltage but there will be current. To know more about this topic you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing, the link to which is given in the description box below. If you found this video interesting then please like, share and subscribe this channel and press the bell button for future updates. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.